Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the difference between collection and collections in Java? Let me answer this question followed by practical demonstration. So the names are kind of similar, collection, collections. An extra S is there, but that extra S makes a lot of difference case, okay? There's a lot of difference between collection and collections. What are this collection and collections? What is the difference between this collection and collections? Coming to the first one, that is collection. It is a predefined interface, which belongs to the collections framework, okay? Collection is a predefined interface, one of the predefined interface, which comes under the collections framework. Whereas collections is a predefined class in Java. It's not related to the collections framework library, but you know, it's a predefined utility class, okay? It's one of the utility classes we have, predefined utility classes we have in Java, collections. But collection is a predefined interface under the collections framework. In Java, we have a concept known as collections framework, which is nothing but a set of uh, predefined interfaces and predefined classes. You can see here in the diagram under the collections framework, we have collection interface, list interface, queue interface, set interface, map interface. Similarly, we have classes under the collections framework like array list, linker list, vector, stack, priority queue, DQ, array queue, set, uh, set is a interface, has set class, linked has set, sorted, set is an interface, under the tree set is a class, under the map interface, we have hash map class, linked hash map class, hash table class, sorted map interface, tree map class, like that. Collections framework is a collection of, okay, predefined classes and interfaces in the Java language, okay? So in that, collection is a predefined, one of the predefined interface which is nothing but a parent of the list interface, queue interface, set interface, and its classes, and its child classes. List interface as a child class known as array list. So array list is a grandchild of the collection interface. List is a immediate child interface of the collection interface. Array list is a grandchild class of the collection interface. Similarly here, as set is a grandchild class of the collection interface, set is a immediate uh, child class of uh, child interface of the collection interface, like that guys, okay? Your collection is a predefined interface and its immediate uh, children are list queue and set interfaces, which again have their child, their own children, like list has uh, array list, linker list, vector, and, and all the stuff, okay? So, fine, then what about the other one? That is collections. Here an extra S is there in the collections. It is a predefined utility class in Java. It doesn't belong to the collections framework. Here collections, you can see collections, right? It is an external utility. It's not part of the collections framework, but this collections can be used with uh, this predefined class and interface of the collections framework, okay? But it is a, it's not belonging to the collections framework, but it can be used as the utility predefined class, okay? Which can work with any of this uh, collection framework related class and interfaces, okay? Collections is one of the external utility which belongs to the java.util package in Java programming. It's not part of the collections framework, but can be used with predefined class and interfaces of the collections framework. So that's the main difference between the collection and collections, but I'll give you collection and collections, but I'll give you one, uh, some practical demonstration of how to use collection interface, how to use collections predefined class in Java programming. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and create a new package. I'll just name this package as collections framework pack, collections framework pack. Under the collections framework pack, I'm going to create a new class I'll just uh, create a new class. I'll just name this class as demo with the main method. Click on finish. Okay. Click on finish. And inside this, increase the font here. I'm going to create an object for the array list. Array list is one of the predefined classes uh, under the collections framework. Like this, I have to write over the mouse on this. And I need to import this array list from the package and after that list is equal to here collection interface this is nothing but the collection interface right like this over the mouse on the collection interface and import this collection interface from there and here i need to specify the generic type for example here i'll just mention as integer like this guys you can create an object of the child class grandchild class and assign to the variable of the parent or grandparent interface in java so that's why this is possible now the collection contains a lot of predefined methods. If you go to the uh, implementation of the collection interface here, we have a lot of predefined methods here, like in, uh, 
you know, like is empty, size, two array. So if you want to see all the things, control four, you just mention and you'll get all the predefined methods that I go. Here, one of the method is add method, okay? Add is one of the method using which we can add the a group of objects to the this particular code, okay? We can add a group of objects here, okay? If you want to add a group of objects to this array list, we can say list dot add of, let's say nine, integer object nine has been added, list dot add of one, and list dot add of five, then I'll say list dot add of seven, okay? Like this four elements, uh, four objects are added to this uh, array list, okay? So add method is coming from the collection interface. Fine, anyhow, next thing is, if I print this out, system dot out at print, if I print this collection, what will be printed, all the elements that are added, all the objects that are added to the collection will be printed, nine, one, five, seven, okay? First nine is coming, then one is coming, five is coming, seven is coming. But what if your requirement is to, uh, you know, sort these particular elements in this, objects in this array list. In this array list, I would like to sort the order. To sort the order case, list dot, list dot, I cannot sort, you see? Collection doesn't have any predefined method to sort, but we have a predefined class in Java known as collections. Collections, okay? Collections dot sort. Collections is a predefined class. We have one of the static predefined method of the collections class, where a collection is a predefined interface under the collections framework, where collections is a predefined class in Java library, which doesn't belong to the collection framework, but it can be used as a utility utility class uh, for performing different utility operations with uh, the collections framework related classes and interfaces. That's what you have to know, dot sort. And here I need to provide the name of the like uh, thing that I need to sort, okay? So, okay, it's not applicable. It is saying collections dot sort is not applicable to this. It is saying then how to sort it out. Just say sort again, collections dot sort. Sort guys, we have to give the list here, okay? We cannot give collections, we have to give the list. So here I'll make, convert this into list. Sort list, we cannot uh, sort it, convert into list. List is a pretty uh, immediate parent interface of the array list. And now I'll provide sort, dot sort. And here I'll provide list. You see, error is not coming. In case of collection, error is coming. So like that guys, collection is a predefined interface, whereas collections is a, okay? Collections is a predefined class. So once sorted, I'll just try to print the same list after sorting and see what is happening. You see, sorted elements are coming in the array list, okay? 9157 was there, 1579. They got sorted in ascending order. So this is what, uh, with practical demonstration, I have answered this question for you guys. You can take a screenshot of this code if you want. In place of the list, you can initially start with the collection interface. And later when you need to sort, you have to change this collection into the list, then only you can sort the list, okay? Collections is a predefined class in Java library, which doesn't belong to the collections framework, whereas uh, collection is a predefined interface, which belong to the, it's one of the predefined interface of the collections framework, okay? So with theoretical explanation and uh, practical demonstration, I answer this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.